friends in Christ Jesus. We all feel very happy to meet you in this season of Christmas. Christmas season is a very joyful season. It's a season of joy, season of happiness. And we have 101 ways to celebrate this happiness. We have got lot of ways to express our happiness to our friends, kith and kins. We have got cards, we have got lot of other variety of uh, ways. Some people buy new clothes, children enjoy new clothes, going to parties and having some fun. Lot of things are involved in this celebration. So dear friends, is it that happiness is, is all about? When we are traveling towards the truth, now this Christmas is expecting all of us to walk towards the truth. Christmas season is a season every year coming to us. So the Christmas season should not be the season of just worldly uh, desires. The Christmas season should not be the season of worldly happiness. It should go beyond. Jesus is calling each and every one of us to travel beyond. Because the happiness what the world gives differs from what the Bible says about the happiness. The perspective of happiness differs of the world and of Jesus Christ. What for Jesus came to this world? If at all one child born to die, it is Jesus. No child is getting its birth to die. Everyone likes to live. But Jesus alone came down from heaven, from the Father, with the intention, with the plan to die for the human race. What is this plan is all about? So this Christmas is a season, is asking all of us to search for this, the meaning of Jesus' birth. So I invite you all to enter into the word of the Lord to find the meaning for the Christmas. Dear friends, Many a places we could see lot of traces. We come to know Jesus' birth through lot of words. What is Jesus is all about? So we in the New Testament, we could see the word Messiah. Matthew chapter 2, 4 says, In calling together all the chief priests and the scribes of the people, the Herod inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. The king was afraid of the birth of Jesus. So he is asking everybody where the Messiah is born. The word Messiah is registered here. In the announcement of Jesus' birth, Gospel of Luke chapter 2 verses 11 says, To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior who is the Messiah, the Lord. You see the word the Messiah. In the Gospel of Luke chapter 2 26 we see, a great man, a prophet, a Simeon, is waiting for the Lord's coming. He's, it is said, it had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death before he had seen the Lord's Messiah. You see the word Messiah is occurring, coming again and again in the New Testament alone. You cannot see the word in the Old Testament because this word is very much loaded in the New Testament than the Old Testament. So, can we come to the conclusion the Old Testament is not aware of the word Messiah? Not so. So, we have to search in the other ways to find the real meaning of the word Messiah in the Old Testament. The Old Testament has a good connection with the coming of the Lord in the New Testament. When we come into the Old Testament, we could see the other words like a Savior, Redeemer, Liberator, all these things. So these verses are mounted in the Old Testament. Whereas we see God himself is promising that he is the Savior. Book of Isaiah chapter 43, 11 we see, I, I am the Lord and besides me there is no Savior. See book of Isaiah says very clearly, promptly that God himself tells by his mouth that he is the Savior. If God is the Savior, in the New Testament we see Jesus becoming the Savior. He is sent in the name of the Father. That is what we read from the Gospel of Luke that Gabriel, the angel of the Lord, coming to our mother Mary and announcing the Gospel that 
He is Jesus and he is coming from the heavenly father. Dear friends in Christ Jesus, the word whether savior or messiah or everything is loaded of one meaning that is all pointing to one person that is Jesus. In the New Testament, we see the word Christ. Jesus is the name which was given by Gabriel, the angel. But the Christ was added to the name of Jesus. Jesus is the Messiah, is revealed through this name, Jesus Christ. Because when you look into the original language, that is Greek of the New Testament, we could see not the word Messiah exactly, but we see the word Christos. The Christos means Messiah, Savior, Liberator. All these uh, meanings are loaded to this word Christos. That is why Jesus' name is also added to this name, Chris Christ. So it goes together with the same meaning. Jesus, if you analyze this word, this word is coming from the root word of Joshua, Jesus. Jesus has a root meaning of Joshua, Jesus, all these things, because this says Yahweh is the Savior. This gives this meaning. Jesus is. Joshua has this meaning that is Yahweh is the Savior. Old Testament is confirmingly telling to each and everyone that God will save us. If God is going to save us, uh, it is very much realized in the New Testament that is Jesus Christ is sent in the name of the Lord God the Father as a Savior. That's why the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ is very much realized New Testament better than the Old Testament. The mystery that was held in the New Old Testament was revealed to the, in the New Testament. That is why we ask people to read the Old Testament and the New Testament for the better understanding. Now, the Christmas season is a joyous season, it's a happy season. So it is, as I said in the beginning, the happiness should not lie only in celebrating of the worldly matters. Only celebrating with the world will not give us a new meaning. We need to find out the reason what for Jesus came down to this world. What for Jesus came down to this world with a purpose. What is the purpose of Jesus coming? Because Jesus did not get his birth just to live in this world and enjoy the world's glory. But he came down with the plan of the Father. He has repeated many times in the Gospels. So dear friends, it is our duty to find the meaning of the birth of Jesus. I would take you to the epistle of John where he tells clearly what is the real meaning of the birth of Christ. First letter of John Chapter 3, verse 16 says, We know love by this, that he laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for one another. This is the crux of Jesus coming and our living. If you and I say that believe in Jesus Christ, our life should be mingled with the plan of the Lord. It's not that our plan is different from God's plan. It's not that our, my plan is different from Jesus' plan. My life has a plan and that plan is mixed with the plan of Jesus, our master. That is giving oneself to the others. Jesus came down to the world to give himself to the world. Dear friends, as we are ready to celebrate the Christmas, this Christmas should become a meaningful celebration. This Christmas should give a joy to the heart, to the soul, not to the physical self, not to the body alone. So children may celebrate the celebration of that of the world, but you and I, knowing the word of the Lord, should have a meaningful celebration of Christmas. Dear friends, today let us decide how I am going to cross through this celebration. Are we ready to go beyond the celebration of the world? How to go about? Let us open our eyes and see who are all suffering near to us. Are we able to give ourselves to our neighbors as Jesus came down and gave himself for you and for me and for all of us? 
and this is the the celebration asking all of us to come to that realization of giving christmas is nothing but giving losing oneself jesus said if anyone likes to follow me let him take upon himself the cross and follow me and this is nothing but losing oneself if you want to gain the life jesus says you lose your life for my sake anyone who loses himself for my sake will gain the life so the world will say don't lose your life but jesus says lose yourself lose your life for my sake not for anybody's sake so dear friends this season of christmas this celebration of christmas is calling each and every one of us to come to this realization that i have to live for christ i have to lose myself for christ's sake because he lost everything for me so this celebration should lead you to that level that is going beyond this season of christmas bring you all joy and glory all happiness to your family and to yourself personally so this christmas should go beyond in your life this christmas should take you beyond so in the name of the tv which you are watching tv called power of god we wish you all a happy christmas and a meaningful christmas god bless you